Hello again, welcome to part 10E, I guess this is what this is, I guess there's any parts anymore, I don't even keep track of them, but uh, I wanted you to know what was going on with my uh, dial calibration on this uh, on this rig. Uh, there's actually three parts to uh, calibrating this this radio uh, for anyone who ever contemplates maybe owning a, a Heathkit HW101. Uh, part of the alignment is uh, there's a, a variable frequency oscillator alignment, which is the VFO. Now it sounds complicated, but it's nothing more than a, 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 a tuned capacitor, a, a, a variable capacitor, just like you would find in any tuner, connected to a coil, generates an oscillation, generates a frequency, and uh, that needs to be aligned. And then you've got your crystal calibrator, which you'll hear shortly. Uh, that needs an alignment, and they have all these procedures in, in the uh, manual the assembly manual. The last thing, of course, is the dial. Now, it's all new to me. Everything I do is brand new to me. I've never worked on it. You know, if I had worked on it 50, 60 times, I'd understand what's going on, you know. But when something happens and I, and I hear something, I go, geez, I don't know if that's right or not, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to rely on you gurus, all you smart guys out there who have been in ham radio for a number of years. Uh, I want you to watch my dial calibration. Here it is. Let me know. Respond to this video so, so I can get on the air, you know, get a CQ over with, and I can move on to repairing some wooden uh, antique vintage radios for a change. <laughs> All right, here we go. In order to align the dial on this thing, or calibrate the dial, the book says to set your band switch into 3.5 megahertz uh, position which is the 80 meter band which I have done and then you're supposed to flip your uh, cal switch to cal which it is right now it's it's a three position switch and over here this is the cal position then I'm supposed to zero beat the crystal calibrator signal as a result of being in the cal position that generates an internal signal there's a crystal in there that makes a high pitch sound and I'm supposed to zero beat it on the uh, on, zero, on the uh, zero on the scale so I, let's do that now I turn up the volume where we can hear it and then I go off the crystal I mean off the dial scale and we pick up the uh, crystal calibrator now I've already set this so it's on zero now that is not zero beat uh, this is zero beat when I zero beat it which means no sound that's when it's supposed to be on the zero which is pretty much the way it's supposed to be right now. Now it is a tad off and I can use this, uh, press this button right here, it's called zero set. And uh, But if I do it, it'll go back, it'll always be off about a hair either way, no matter what I do. It's, it's old equipment. Now I'm, I should be able to go through this entire scale. And every time I hit 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500, I should get that same crystal calibrator signal. So let's dial it up to 100. Alright, here I am at the 100, and I should also hear my uh, crystal calibrator signal. And just to make sure it is the signal I'm hearing, all I have to do is flip this switch to the Vox position. If that tone disappears, then I know I'm actually tuning in on the calibration, on the calibration, uh, calibrator signal. And I am. And it is good at the 100. It's a little bit off, just a hair, but it, it, it's never going to be right. I can't get it exactly on. Let's check the 200. Alright, here's the 200. Right on. Just to make sure it's the signal again. And it is. Let's go to 300. Uh, notice how there's a little tone change as I go up. Nice and crisp and clear. Again, yes, that is the signal. Let's check it at 400. All right, we're now at 400. Right on again. Yes, it is the signal. Let's now let's check it at 500. And this is what's supposed to be happening uh, at each stop along the way. So let's go to 500 and see what happens. Alright, here I am at the 500 on the scale, and again, it's right on, and it is good. 
Okay, as far as I'm concerned, that thing is, is calibrated. The problem I had was last night I wanted to turn into freewheelers on the 80 meter band. They come on at 10 o'clock at night, Sunday through uh, uh, Friday. And their frequency is 3916. And when I tried to tune them in last night, I couldn't find them anywhere. So, you know, that means two things. Either they were not on the air, which I doubt. It's a net. Uh, a freewheeler's net. Uh, they were either not on the air or, or, or uh, you know, propagation was so bad that I couldn't pick it up. And I don't know about that. I was picking up a lot of other people. There was a lot of white noise last night on the 80 meter band. And it was raining here. So I don't know. Alright, one last thing. This morning I tried to pick up the 7290 traffic net, the frequency 7290. They call it the 7290 traffic net out of Texas. I picked it up on 7190, so I'm <laughs> 100 kilohertz off, even though the dial shows good, so I don't know. This thing is so frustrating. It's beginning to, it's beginning to wear on me. Now, I can go ahead and, you know, I, I can go ahead and just do a CQ and on you know on any frequency if I wanted and then just you know call it a day but I want it, I want this radio to be righteous before I do so there you have it folks that's what I've been going through big deal